friends, it's me, Christine. Welcome to my cozy corner of the internet. In today's video, I am going to do a cozy haul, but I have a very specific reason for this haul. And I also wanted to say, Honeybee is here. She's biting me. We're in that phase. We've been in that phase for a while, but um, so if you hear little things in the background, that's what's going on. <laughs> okay. Um, this, it, we're kind of, like the evening time is kind of her wild time, and she's like pretty chill all day long until right around 5:30, <laughs> and then all hell breaks loose. So. But anyway, so I wanted to do this haul video because I mentioned in another video that I submitted some articles to Bella Grace magazine for their autumn issue and neither one were received, purchased, whatever. They didn't print them. <laughs> but I still wanted to share the ideas with you because I thought they were pretty fun. So the article that, uh, one of the articles that I submitted was called Cozy Comforts, Curate Your Autumn Self-Care Kit. Because I had this idea, like, you know, I talk about self-care a lot. And a lot of times my self-care needs are not necessarily material needs, you know. Like, it's it's more just like creating a moment or an environment of calm. That's kind of my self-care needs. Like, I don't need a lot. I just need, like, peace and quiet, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I um, decided to actually uh, um, do a little mini haul of some items that you could use in your autumn self-care kit. So I'll read you, I won't read you the whole thing, but I'll just read you this one paragraph. So building an autumn self-care kit can help you embrace the season with intentional habits and rituals that promote mental, emotional, and physical well-being as the air turns cooler. By thoughtfully choosing a collection of things that nurture you the most, you'll be ready to delight in peace, warmth, and self-care during the autumn season. And that was really the idea. I just really wanted to, um, you know, create my own little self-care items that um, maybe it'll inspire you to collect. And a lot of these things you probably already have. But um, anyway, I just thought it'd be fun for the video. So, um, okay. So the components of the self-care kit, it says curate warmth and comfort. So there were three items in the kind of warmth and comfort section. And one was a soft blanket or a throw. And um, I have, a, obviously I have a blanket and a throw, but um, my throw blanket that I use kind of daily is getting a little bit ratty. It's it's like, I don't know if the yarns are like acrylic or whatever, but it just, it just doesn't feel as soft as it once did. Okay, so I was going to go to Target and, you know, shop around and get some of these items. But at the end of the day, I just didn't really, I just didn't really have time to like get in the car and go over there. So I actually got these things online from Target, most of them, not everything. Um, okay, so the first item I got was this throw blanket, uh, um, and this is from the Threshold line. Um, it's really just this beautiful, warm cinnamon color, and it has a little bit of texture. I'll put a picture of it, um, how they had it on the website. So I'm gonna open this up. Uh, I've been holding on to it because I was waiting on one of the items that I ordered, which actually came in today. <laughs> um, and so I've been dying to unfurl this and just like cuddle up. But um, so anyway, it was time for a new throw blanket and I really love this color. So um, yeah, I think it was inexpensive too. I don't remember, but it was not that expensive. Okay, the next item for warmth and comfort is candles or warm lighting. And we all know that, um, you know, you can buy light bulbs that for your lamps that are cool or warm. And so I typically always buy the warm ones just because we're, you know, I don't do a lot of overhead lighting. You know, I feel like that's kind of a grown up thing, <laughs> but I do a lot of lamps. And so I make sure that they're warm. So that's just a tip. Um, but anyway, so I did end up getting some new candles and I usually buy like those $10 threshold or what's the other line? Opal House, I guess, from Target. Because um, those candles kind of kick out a lot of scent. But um, I, I've ordered those before online and they always come broken. So I didn't want to get that. So I got instead, I got two candles. One is this pumpkin. Um, it says pumpkin wood scented candle. And this is a glass little jar. And it actually... Mm, there. So it's like a two wick candle with a little lid smells unbelievable like so good it's it's more than just like a pumpkin scent it's almost like it got a lot of cinnamon or something but but um you could definitely have this all holiday season like i mean we're only uh, you know 
October 2nd or something. Um, but this, the way that this candle smells, like it would definitely take you through the holidays if you needed it to. Um, so I got this one in the green and actually, I don't actually, it's kind of in this frosted, like frosted glass, which I don't actually like the texture of this because it feels like it's getting everywhere. Um, but it looks good. <laughs> okay. So I got that one. Okay. So I got another one too in a different scent and it came like this where there's some of the candle material on the outside. So I haven't opened it yet. It's pumpkin spice cupcakes. Um, and I don't like kind of glued shut from this stuff. So I'll have to pry it open and see if the candle melted everywhere, but it smells good. It definitely has more of a pumpkin-y scent than the other one. But um, anyway, so these are from Target and they smell incredible. I can't wait to burn them. Um, but anyway, I thought these were really cute and perfect for your cozy self-care kit. The next item in the autumn self-care kit for the warmth and comfort section is cozy socks. I have a ton of cozy socks, but they have been through the ringer. Like they, my socks need to go in the garbage. So I did get some new ones and I got these green kind of moss green and, um, what do they say? Super soft, cozy socks. Um, Odin is the brand from Target, but, um, they're just kind of like the ankle height, uh, kind of a barefoot dreams type material. Very cozy, very, very cozy and, um, not that expensive either. So, I mean, you know, Target, but, um, I love that green color, this like mossy green. I thought it was perfect. Okay. So the next category for the cozy self-care kit is curate, um, curate nourishing treats and sips. So teas and warm beverages. I did end up getting two kinds of tea from Target. Um, one is a classic pumpkin spice by uh, Harney and Sons. I mean, you've seen these all over the place. It's been around for years. Um, but this is an herbal rooibos with pumpkin and spices. And to be honest, um, rooibos kind of gives me heartburn, which I've mentioned um, in several other videos. However, my husband loves it, so I did get this. But I love black tea and pumpkin spice too, but we already got some like celestial seasonings. So I, I wanted to tr give this a try because um, I don't know if I've ever had this blend. But anyway, so there's that. And then this is kind of the one I was more into. And I don't think this is a special holiday blend. It's This is a um, peach and honey blend of white tea and chamomile with peach and honey flavors. Now, I do have to be careful with caffeine, but this one is... It's not caffeine caffeine free because it's white tea, but um, let's see. Yeah, it's a it's a two two little levels of caffeine, so not the most caffeinated, but not caffeine free by any means. So I'll probably drink this in the morning. I usually have like an iced coffee, and then I'll probably drink this just to kind of like top it off. But um, how cozy is this tea? I'm excited for this one. So the next item in the curate nourishing tr treats and sips tea is comforting recipes. Now, I am by no means a cook. I don't enjoy cooking. I don't have a lot of cooking stuff, um, usually because I just, it's a lot of work. And so with just me and my husband, he eats really different things than I do. He, you know, and I eat very, um, um, almost vegan, not, not a hundred percent, but like, I like a lot of vegan foods and he likes that too. But, um, anyway, so he often ends up just making his own food and I usually make mine and whatever. And then we like, we'll go out to eat that kind of thing. Um, but, but I saw this book on the target website and it's the witch's cookbook, 50 wickedly delicious recipes, witchcraft inspired. Oh my God. And I thought it was perfect for, you know, like a self-care moment because it's actually really cool. Like it has a lot of nice little moments, little pictures. Look at that. Um, and I figure like, you know, why not? Let me just try to make some things, you know, like, let's see, what is something that I will make in here? Okay. So I might try to make this acorn stuffed squash. So that's pretty easy. You just, um, stir up the filling and then throw it into bake. I can certainly do that. So um, I might try to make that, things like that. And then of course, like crudite, like I, I'll cut things up and, but like complicated recipes, I just don't, I 
just can't deal with. But um, but this one actually looks like it's just more for inspiration. You know what I mean? Like the watermelon pizza. That's kind of a summer thing. But I just like that it was witch themed. This one's cute. The squash and pomegranate salad. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, yeah, it's only 50 recipes. And um, I'll, I'll be curious to see like which ones. In fact, I used to make this soup that um was in gabby hurst no aaron murphy hiscock's green witch book and in the back of that book she has recipes i'll put a picture of it um but i actually made the recipes in that book and one of the recipes is a tomato soup and I had never made tomato soup before. It was so good. Like she had you put a little bit of basil on it, a little bit of like oil drizzle and the whole thing. And it was just really lovely. It was so fresh feeling and I could I could feel the witchy vitality <laughs> from that soup. So I'll keep you posted on these recipes, but I thought that was really cute for a haul. And then the next category is mindful activities. I got a couple other things that aren't necessarily category specific to the article, but I thought that they would be add to the coziness. And two things. Okay, so one, I saw this, this was an impulse buy, but it was comfy and cozy toasted vanilla. Now I know that these are kind of just like extra and they're kind of weird to put in your laundry or whatever, but I have purchased this be these before in like a different scent and um, enjoyed them. You know, I don't use them all the time, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try this out. They're having a sale. So I picked these up and um, I'm excited to try these. I, I, I do a lot of like t-shirts and things and I like to use these because it makes it smell good. So got that. And the last thing in my haul, um, I, another impulse buy and this one didn't quite work out. Okay, so they were these um, Sweet Logic Orange and Almond mug treats so mug cake mix okay so I have a mug I was gonna actually buy a new fall mug and like share it as part of a haul but you guys I have like a thousand mugs and so I was just like I'm just gonna pick a cute one and I will put in if I have time I'll put in some b-roll of this but there was a problem there was an issue because I thought that these were gonna be just like you pour it in the mug you put your almond milk in it whatever you pop it in the microwave but that's not what they are so you have to add an egg which I don't have. I never buy eggs. So I don't know really that that's tripping me up a little bit. Um, yeah. So I, I know if I buy like a big thing of eggs that it won't get eaten. And so for just like one egg or, well, there's actually four mug treats here. So I'll keep you posted on these. Um, I've tried mug cakes before and I, you know, I've sort of had mid success with them, but I don't end up eating them because they're like, some parts are kind of too done and some parts are underdone. I mean, you know how it goes in the microwave, but I really wanted to try these. So anyway, these could be a mistake, but <laughs> I'll keep you posted on that. So that was all of my haul, but I did want to just mention a couple of things about the rest of this article um, because one of the categories, so I'll just mention the other categories, um, mindful activities. So as part of your self-care kit, so journaling supplies, and you guys know I have a million journaling supplies. In fact, I just posted a video um, about uh, with a whole bunch of cozy fall prompts that you can um, use and uh, you know get get some fall journaling inspiration and the other thing I wrote in this category was put together your reading list so one of the things that happens to me both in audible and regular books is I buy a book and I'll read a few pages into it and then I'll get distracted by another book finish that one forget about the one that I started and then that one so like if I start a book now sometimes I won't read it for two months later it's a terrible pattern but um but I thought it could be helpful to add like a little checklist of the books that you want to read so um okay the next section what for your autumn self-care kit was curate your nature connection so get some outdoor activities that you enjoy so where I live um it's not crisp and cool yet it won't be crisp and cool probably until December um and there's no like I live in the middle I live in Southern California in the middle of a bunch of farms and then there's like the ocean and then a bunch of farms so there's like really nothing around I have to go drive up to the hills to get like the autumn trees and stuff which is kind of a bummer but 
anyway, um, but that is not going to stop you from enjoying the, the outdoors and just thinking about it, I guess, in that sense of planning, you know, making it a part of your self-care kit. Okay. The other thing I wrote, two more things, um, creative outlets. So planning, knitting projects, stitching project, journaling project, whatever it is, find like a creative thing that you, um, is really speaking to you. Try something different, right? Okay. And then integrate self-care into daily life. Now I did write for this article, mindfulness and meditation. I'm not a big meditator. Um, I like to do what I call, um, shamanic journeying, but I don't like the word. Sh I mean, I like the word sh shamanic, but I just don't consider myself a, sh a shaman or anything like that. But, um, I like to do that technique, but that's not meditation. It's really different. Oh, Hey girl. Um, so I'm not, you know, even though this is kind of one of those things like do as I do, not as I do, as I say, not as I do, because I don't really meditate. But, uh, but I do think that just like closing your eyes and having quiet time is really good. And also, um, I like the idea of moving medit. excuse me, excuse me. Would you like to sit on my lap? I'm gonna sit on mommy's lap. Okay. Meditation where you take a walk and you like pay attention to your breath and that kind of thing. I find that to be a little more um, relaxing, I guess. Okay, and then the last thing was physical activity, which I've already mentioned, like getting outdoors and doing physical activity. And that is going to be the challenge for me. I do like to take walks, but I'm having a lot of trouble with my feet. And I actually could use your advice about what shoes to wear. Because I've been wearing... I've been wearing ons, but they're, they're not comfortable for me. They're too like squishy. Ma'am. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> We've got some chaos happening is what's happening. Um, whoa. Um, they're too squishy and they give me plantar fasciitis. So I need like a firmer shoe and I've been wearing Vans for a long time. But anyway, if you have like a good walking shoe that you can recommend, I would love to know. The last thing I want to mention is that I recently launched, I did a soft launch of my membership site here on YouTube. And I did a video, which I'll leave in the comment section or the description section. Um, if you're curious about it and you want to learn more. So um, that kind of describes everything, but I hope that you'll check it out because um, we're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be monthly topics and um, different lovely things happening over there in my YouTube community called Sweater Weather and there's different tiers. So maybe we'll see you over there. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.